Matthew chapter 8, verse 14. Matthew chapter 8, verse 14. When Jesus came to Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her up and the fever left her. And she got up and began to wait for on him. Still, when evening came, many who were demon possessed were brought to him, and he drove out the spirit with a word and healed all the sick. Seventeen. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Praise the Lord. I want to introduce this very simple title. Understand the name Jesus. Understand what? We can, you know, pronounce Jesus or speak the name Jesus, but we need to understand the reality or the meaning of this name Jesus. It's not just a common name that you can just say it anyhow. When you call this name, remember that heaven and earth will shake. Because it is the name that holds heaven and earth. If I may bring this to you again. Fever, it is something that cannot be you know, treated with uh, your word. You need a, a, a doctor. When you, you know they discover that there is fever, they will tell you, oh, this is malaria fever, this is fever, this is water. Until you are diagnosed with that fever, so that they can put you on the medication. But this name Jesus was introduced to the human beings as a medicine to our spiritual problem. It is not every fever that you, you know you can treat. You cannot see Satan walking that, oh, it's me who brought this fever. No, he will use the name that you know that this name kills people. Are you there? Satan will use the name which you know that cancer kills people, malaria kills people, HIV kills people. So he will use that name to strike your body. The mother-in-law to Peter was sick. She had fever. Are you telling me that let us be natural now? Physically, if someone has got fever, what type of prayer can you offer if it is not Jesus who is at work? Just fever. If you have a fever, you can get a fever. You can get a fever. Matthew chapter 1, verse 22 to 23. The Bible says that Emmanuel means what? Hmm? God in us, not with us. Yes, it is written that God with us, but in us. Because take a lapun So he is in us. Yes, if you read, it is written God with us. But as a child of God, when you believe, he will enter you. So the name Jesus, it is not just a common name that you can mention anyhow. When you say Jesus, remember that this name carries, you know, answers to our problem. The name Jesus is greater than money. So if you say Jesus, you are calling solution. He just touched the mother-in-law to Peter and fever left her completely. Let me bring this again to you. Spirit of madness or mental disorder. In those days, when you become mad, you'll be rejected. There was no treatment. There was no treatment for madness. They'll just keep you as a mad person. The name Jesus came to fight madness. Because that spirit of mental disorder is from Satan 
And no one knows that this is Satan who is attacking us with madness. They will just see it, you know, it's, it's what? Malaria or what? Idobo, uh, Ivange, uh, all those things. Satan will use Dobo to strike your mind. They will just say, Ivange, I'm There was no medicine for madness or mental disorder. But the man Jesus came because this name Jesus is the solution to our problem. There was no solution at all. As long as it is spiritual, it is only Jesus who can cure you or deliver you from that problem. Is there any medicine for fever? Huh? Is there any medicine for fever? Fever is just a symptom of something. It is not a sickness. They just say, this is fever. Take her or take him to the hospital so that the doctor can see you and diagnose you to say, oh, this one has got malaria plus plus. And yet, it is Satan who is moving all over your body. They will give you koatam, you finish koatam. No, fancy day, I'm going to go fancy day. You will drink all the medicine for malaria. There you learn mad. No fear, I'm going to malaria. I'm going to go to malaria. I'm going to go Remember that what cannot be treated is spiritual. So Peter's mother-in-law with fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her. Simply means that was not a ordinary word. Fever. In short, let me tell you this. Jesus can do anything for you, whether spiritual or physical. Jesus can do that. I can count so many problems. the solution before Jesus came to this life. There was no forgiveness before this man came to this life. Why did so peace? He came as a key to unlock our future and to bring understanding. So you need to understand the name Jesus. If you have Jesus in your life, everything is with you spiritually and physically is with you can do anything with him who strengthen you without understanding the name Jesus this is why you see people can carry Bible when it is daylight in the morning I mean in the evening they will bring which doctors or they'll go to which doctors because they don't understand the name they preach you are carrying the Bible in the evening you go to which doctor that is hypocrisy it's like you don't understand what you are you know you are teaching if you understand the name Jesus this name is the key even if you know then before I put a koatam in my mouth I just say thank you Jesus what does it mean simply means if it is spiritual the name Jesus will fight that malaria if it is physical, go at them now, fight it. But you, you just drink. Mm. 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 Say thank you, Jesus. When you say thank you, Jesus, you recognize him more than the medicine that you are putting in your mouth. The fever left him, and the Bible says that when evening came, many who were demon possessed were brought to him, and he drove them out. He drove the evil spirit with a word. That is the word of God. If you say the word without the Holy Spirit, the word is powerless. Remember when Jesus talked, the Bible says that when he's talking, he will release what? Power. Power. That's why when he say, in Jesus' name, power will fall on you. If truly you understand that name. Jesus' name is 
the power for your victory if you don't know. There is no battle that you can fight without the name Jesus. It's just that, you know, we, 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 we don't understand how this name works. If you know the way this name works, ha, there's no one to fear. There's nothing to be afraid. You can just say, Father, if this sickness was sent by you to take me from this life, let it be so. Jesus, if it is not your will that this sickness let it be there for me until I reach there the name Jesus will arrest that sickness that is the purpose of this name if you don't know there is nothing and nothing that you can do as long as you cannot understand the name Jesus if you understand this name your life is full of what? Victory. So understand the name what? Jesus. As long as you cannot understand this name Jesus, your enemy will keep on lighting you like a was. Manipulating you there was no cure for blindness. This man came. Who doesn't know how to fail? But Mayas was, was a blind person. He was just you know, begging. Jesus said, no. Me, I know how to uh, do this. It is very easy to carry the Bible and preach. But it is not easy. To bring Jesus to your situation as long as you cannot understand it. Quoting scripture from scripture to scripture, there's nothing wrong. But you understand this man, Jesus. Because if you understand him, he will control you. He will direct you. He will make sure that you live according to his way. You understand life better than anyone. understand him, he knows how to fight your enemy. He knows the root cause of your problem. What is, you know, giving us pain? is evil spirit. These evil things are the ones who are, you know, afflicting pain in our body every night. Because they knew that we do not understand this man, Jesus. If we are to shupa, to asavaila, to alandro, ngaku ikata fiempa, power ya ingela muni we. Amaka ya kuale soko ya ba, nangule chewe cha kuale sanga cha fuma muka na kaku. Tachuwe de la mochi samku pango for cha fumi na if you don't know that. Takuwa boku we de la mo. Waiting ya fuma kuli desa, be healed. They are well anymore until you receive what? Healing. But lack of understanding about this name Jesus is what is causing all this trouble. When the pain is too much, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, are you calling Jesus by faith or you are calling Jesus through the pain? Because if it is the pain calling Jesus, Satan will, will, will keep on one, increasing one. The pain, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, now for us, yeah, we're feeling hard, 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 hard. Ah, Satan never in a perfect form. Let me see if you continue calling this man. Bape la broken. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We should have a little danger. We should have a little danger. We should have a little danger. Why? Ah, Satan never will push you until you go to hell, because you don't understand this man. If you know this man. 
Okay, let me finish you. You will keep on, you know, confessing what you are not. And Satan will keep on increasing the pain to mislead your what? Your faith. Because if you understand him before that pain, even in that pain, you will know that Jesus is the only way. Mm. I remember my sister. Yes, well, my sister. Uh, stand up. I met this uh, sister with the uh, uh, collar. Uh, and the, she was, you know, hit by a car. Do you remember this sister? She's shining. No one can remember this one. It is only me. Do you remember this sister? You remember? She came here with what? Mm. And she was. My father was with my Kurusaka. I go speak the Kurusaka. I don't know my son's number. But I don't know. 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 I don't my sister was walking like this like a robot you know robot a robot doesn't bend <laughs> eh? You know, this man, if you understand this man, Jesus, your enemy will be afraid of you. Mm. See the way my... I'm sure because it's shining like... See down, my sister. <laughs> Thank you. So understand the name it is a solution to our problem. As long as you are doubting Jesus... You are doubting your future. And your enemy will keep on, you know, disturbing you, disturbing you, until you are under their feet. Thank you. Let me end there. God bless you.